an update on the yield tank. Now there were some changes in the stock. As you can see, the Moscow Hera Sargentaria had to move, had to be moved in here, all five of them. We lost one uh, of the bigger tire tracks. That's the only tire track. No, not this one. That's the only tire track left. And we got. Uh, Six black spot yields left as well. The clown knife has been growing and it's also was, was moved here after an unsuccessful try in the 4500 gallon. When I put it there, uh, our Nile, biggest Nile perch and the biggest peacock bass, Tamensis, tried to eat it seeing how thin it is. Of course I couldn't fit it in the mouth but they kept trying. So I had to fish it out of there and place it in this tank. All the yield, um, I mean most of the yields are about two and a half feet long now. We've got a Jurian's catfish. The lone survivor for 10 is about two feet now too. He needs a bigger tank for sure. Even though he eats well and behaves well here, but it's pretty obvious he needs a bigger tank. Yeah, the mask of heroes are always aware and uh, interactive as most cichlids are. Kathy, if you're watching, this is your clown knife. It's probably about 20 inches. Maybe 22. Don't I like the light. All right, giraffe. Oh, giraffe nose catfish from Volta. This is a smaller one. This one is about uh, maybe 10 inches or a foot. The bigger one is foot and a half in the 4,500 gallon. And an odd sun cat rescue, which an abnormally short posterior half. And a messed up caudal peduncle. Looks like a genetic pickup. I don't see genetics, genetic hiccups often in uh, sun catfish, so this this is rather an exception in my experience. We have three armor catfish remaining: Silurus azarus or Asotus. And there could be somewhere the true yield, the uh, Anguilla bengalensis bengalensis, but I rarely see it. The eels are, of course, have excellent vision. As you can see, they saw me and they swam away. All of our smaller tanks get a mixture of pellets, sinking pellets and uh, glass minnows lately instead of greenback and shiner all and cut up fish. They pick and choose what they want. The Argentea, the three 
or two of these are smaller and have better markings, more pronounced and the other two are much bigger with a more subtle black bands and black spots so I don't know which one's a female, which, which one's a male, you can tell me guys in the comments I still have very much to learn about the cichlids coming from a catfish and oddball kind of a guy I don't like the light, it's turned on rarely. Fish don't like that. Fish don't like change. Fish like stability. Change stresses them out. Thank you for watching guys.